What's up guys? Good morning. So it is actually early in the morning. I think it's 8.30. We've got a little bit of blue light. The light is probably gonna change throughout this video just because it is so early. Just a warning. Today's video was actually unplanned as you can tell from my lack of makeup and questionable wardrobe. Actually, I was wearing something even worse and I was like, nah girl, put something else on. I was actually preparing my hair for another video that I'm filming. And in that video, I was just gonna explain what I was doing, but I figured it'd probably be best to just show you. I'm actually getting ready to trim my ends. Recently, I've been blowing my hair out to trim my ends. I usually don't do that. I've been using the Revlon blow dryer for this. And I just wanna show you how I've been using it because I did do an updated video explaining all of that, but I found an even more gentler way, which is amazing. Basically blow drying all my hair on the low setting. In my last video, I used mostly low and then like half high heat but I really wanted to show you that this can work on just low as well. As you can see, I'm getting cloudy in here because <laughs> it's hot. So I washed my hair pretty early yesterday and as allowed it to dry and then went to sleep when it was still pretty, it was like damp. I went to sleep with two satin scars, which helped it dry even more. So it's not fully dry, but it's also not damp. It's kind of like just almost there, which is the perfect dryness level to blow dry your hair fully on low using the Revlon blow dryer. And I also want to show you guys that I do still use this because I know I've been obsessed with the Revere. I'm not recommending that, you know, you guys go and get both of them. I'm in a unique position where I actually do my hair for a living. And so having different tools is really helpful for me personally. If you're just like doing your hair every like once a month or whatever, and it's not like what you do as a career, it's probably not, not that serious. I'm gonna start on this one. And if my energy level is low today, I apologize. It's Twas a rough morning. So we're just kind of trucking through here trying to survive, y'all. Y'all just out here trying to survive. <laughs> Keeping it a hundred. I always wash my hair in twists and I just like leave it like that to dry and I can either style my hair from there or whatever, but I'm going to blow dry my hair from there. So I just unraveled one twist and I like to work one half at a time. So I'm gonna clip one of these halves out of the way. And now I got this big bunch here, which is still a lot of hair, way too much hair to fit into this Revlon brush. So I'm gonna cut that in half again as well to make that section just slightly smaller. And that looks like it's gonna be pretty good. So it's pretty, pretty dry, especially my ends. I'm gonna go ahead and just refresh with a little bit of spritz, just a very small amount. We don't wanna get it damp again. This dryness is really good. I don't necessarily like my ends to be 100% dry when I start blow drying. So I just spritzed it with a little bit of a daily restorative spray from the main choice. You can use water if you want, and that works perfectly fine as well. As soon as I run out, that's what I'm gonna be using, but I have it, so. I'm using it because it's nice. I'm rubbing in a little bit of a leave-in conditioner. This one also happens to be from the main choice. Some of you guys know that I love the three-in-one conditioner as well as the As I Am Grow Yogurt. I'm out of the As I Am Grow Yogurt, which is a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna go with this. And then I'm completely out of my Aveda Brilliance. <laughs> I have to get more of this, it's so bomb. So I'm gonna go back to Old Faithful and I'm gonna use Carol's Daughter Kapuasu, which I love. Love, love, love this heat protectant as well. It's just a little bit heavier, which you know what? I don't care. For the way that I'm gonna style my hair, it's all good. So I'm just gonna work that in, especially at the ends. I'm gonna detangle the section with my wide tooth comb. The bristles on the brush have those little knobs which can get caught on any type of tangles or single strand knots or whatever you have going on that you need to trim off. So you just gotta be really careful and make sure you detangle your hair as well as possible. And I'm gonna detangle it with my Felicia Leatherwood detangling brush, starting from ends and working up. Some of you guys have asked me, do I use the Denman anymore? Not at all. I love this brush so much and I always reach for it. I don't even know where my Denman is and I don't care quite honestly. This brush is amazing. Once your tangles are nice and out, you can just start blow drying. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go right on low. Putting on the pressure Cause pressure's gonna get the very best of me I give a little something doesn't come for free Oh, I know you have questions, baby Even if I try and try too hard Nothing's ever enough And that's it. It dries really fast. It looks super sleek. 
it's beautiful and it's pretty soft. This dryer doesn't get the hair as soft as the Revere, but if you can blow out your hair completely on low, it's gonna be a lot softer than if you switch to the high heat setting. And if you notice, I always blow my hair out with the brush being held vertical. So the heat is on the hair a little bit longer and it's more concentrated so you don't have to do as many passes because you don't want to do too many passes again with this brush because those bristles are, are kind of dangerous. Whenever I'm done with the section, I like to clip the ends right at the bottom because it adds a little bit of weight to pull the hair down so it doesn't frizz up. And also as I'm blow drying other sections, the hair won't blow all over the place. And now you just move on to the very next section. You kind of want to move fast because the hair is almost friggin dry. We don't want to be blowing the section out and completely dry hair. I'm gonna just blow this out on low. Tell me what to do, say anything, yeah. that whole section I usually just blow dry it all together just to make sure there's no tangles and I want to try and get at the roots so it's you know as straight as possible especially since I'm going to be trimming and I want the lengths to be the same that's the whole completed section that I originally took out still very soft it'll probably frizz up like this one eventually but you know it's just a little humid today so I'll just blow over the whole section when I'm done I'm gonna finish the rest of my hair and then I'll just come back. All right guys, so I took a break. I had some coffee, some breakfast. I'm feeling much better. Also finished my hair, as you can see. It didn't take too long and it feels really soft, nice and smooth, and it was all done on the low heat setting. I just wanna come on and show you guys that it can be done on low heat. The key is just to Wash your hair, twist it up, and sleep on it so that it can dry out. And then once it's like almost dry, then you can blow dry it really quickly on low heat and it won't take forever, which is what happened to me the first time that I tried to do that. Yay, I'm so happy to know that I don't have to use the high heat setting because it gets hot. It's ready to be trimmed, it needs to be trimmed. Look at this, wow. If you have the Revlon blow dryer, I hope this tip helps. You get a safer, more gentle blow dry and I'll see you in the next one.